Okay, everybody, just doing a midday update that I promised you guys. Okay, so the midday update, market update. Let's just go into our uh, watch list. All right. So currently, the VIX broke. It's over 21. Okay, that was a key level. Silver's up. Bitcoin's up. Gold's up pretty big. Right, dollars flat, crude down, Nasdaq's down 0.44, ES, ES is down uh, a percent, the Dow is down 1.37 percent, Ruddy is down 2 percent, the 10-year yield is down 2.7 percent. That's pretty odd. Um, so very interesting, right? Let's look at the stocks. Okay, now. I have these sorted from the open. So who's the strongest stock of the now? This is the VIX futures. That's really the strongest. Snow. I was eyeing a, a trade actually in the snow and pre-market, um, but it launched. Believe it or not, I wanted to be long in snow, and that would have been the right play, but it didn't set up right. So these are the strongest stocks off the open. Snow, AMD, Coin. I actually had eyes on Coin as well. Um, they had three uh, daily lows almost equivalent but you know didn't set up right what I wanted to see okay now the weakest stocks off the open is Tesla Goldman Sachs financials and Boeing and Boeing I actually had a setup that I was looking at but it just didn't work out because it just ran away was uh, below 200 is a very large negative gamma strike so and that bad news with some kind of jet that I talked about earlier I guess came to fruition okay so that's really all I'm gonna talk about there okay we can look at internals all right now this is a different story than yesterday now this is very important so these are ticks, okay, on the left here. This is just the whole NASDAQ exchange, every uptick and downtick. So I zoom out here. This is all of today. You can see it's kind of holding below zero, which is negative. As long as it holds below zero, the market should move lower in the NASDAQ. Okay, in the ES, it's holding below zero. Only little spikes above, but that doesn't mean anything. It's how low does it stay. Not, and how high doesn't it go? So that's negative. Okay. Now the, the ADD, you can see we're at minus 325. So that's a decent amount of stocks declining versus advancing. Right. Weighted AD. Okay. Now this white line being lower is exactly what you want to see in this. Okay. Just to explain this to you guys. The bars are weighted. So it's exactly how the market's weighted these are those bars so they're more powerful because it's actually how the market is weighted the white line is unweighted it just treats every sector equally now why is that the case well financials is so weak okay but that's not part of the heavy weighted stocks I mean financials is part of the heavyweights but other stocks okay like industrials communications staples energy materials are all weak and you can see over in the sectors and these are sectors from the open infotex only down 0.3 okay only down 0.3 and it's light pink it's not red these are the top four sectors healthcare is down 0.73 financials big down a lot 1.12 consumer discretionary down 0.89 Okay, industrials getting hammered with Boeing down point one point four nine. Okay. And energy getting slammed down one point two one in materials. But these are not as much weight, right? But they're but that's why that shows a disparity. Okay. 
the breath bubbles here we're looking at a 3.66 to 1 in st uh, stocks down volume versus up volume so this is 3.6 to 1 selling volume to 1 that's pretty good in a, a as in, in a nice exchange right but then look at the Nasdaq different story only 1.74 to 1 so it's stronger okay it's stronger the Nasdaq stronger doesn't have financials pulling it down doesn't have industrials pulling it down okay that's why that disparity is there okay now let's move over to mark profile okay let's just look at what we have going here now you can see that resistance of the most trader price in the Nasdaq came to fruition here came in rejected right well in the ES and also I'm sorry we filled the gap in the Nasdaq ES we did not gap was here never came close right so that was bearish we actually what we did was we opened we pushed higher and when we sold off it's called a, like an open test drive okay now we're in this demand zone with the 50-day moving average right here we're below it but this demand I said in pre-market is going to be tough to just cut through and the Nasdaq needs to follow suit with weakness okay so so far we're weak right we're holding the lows we're actually holding new lows okay so that's what we're doing holding new lows financials are super weak tech just needs to catch up can tech get that weak we have to see right now one other thing I also want to note is I'm going to show you another screen here okay I want to show you one pattern this is the ES okay whenever you have this H pattern and this is from Peter Resencheck from Shatter Trader you have the H pattern like this he calls it hell for shorts because it's very hard to short here in the H pattern more times than not it gets bought up I've seen it happen a lot with him. He's he's always talked about it where here we go, hell for shorts. It's not 100% like nothing is, right? But a lot of times people get short in the hole here and then get their faces ripped off. And we also got demand in the 50-day moving average, okay? Now we also have that in the, um, did I just show you the ES? or the? Okay, I just showed you the ES. Okay, now let's show you the um, NASDAQ okay so the NASDAQ also has the H pattern right so people are going to try to short in this part of the H and what I've seen happen most of the time you just see it see it and then they get their faces ripped off I don't know if that's gonna happen but that's kind of what I've seen with this pattern it's just something to note okay it's just something to note now I can talk about these gamma levels right because they're honoring their gamma levels so let's let's talk about the gamma levels okay I'm gonna make these a little smaller here just so we can really look at the gamma levels correctly here every red is is negative gamma every green is positive gamma okay we can start over here. Now I'm just going to actually maximize this to make it look better here. You guys can really see it. Let's just really look at it. Okay. So, a couple things to note here in the SPY. All right. This is just my toss going a little nuts here. But right here, this line right here is... Um, last month's lows weekly and monthly lows notice how we bounced right off there right and we have a major gamma level here at 404 this is the hell for short starting to take place right now as i speak 
Okay, you have a major negative gamma level of 405. If 405 gets broken, we're probably going to 406. Okay. That's why this level is getting bought up. Last week's low, last month's low. Okay, let's move on. SPX. It's going to be the same thing, right? The levels are right here. Last week's low, last month's low. We pierced it. 4050 is a major negative gamma level. So see how we pierced it. And once we pierce it and people start buying that, market makers have to start buying back their shorts. Okay, now you can see we're already starting to take this candle, this candle out. As I'm speaking, the H pattern is already doing its work. Okay, then we got 4060 is another gamma level. That should act as resistance. If it gets crossed, dealers are going to buy back shorts again and we'll probably move up higher. Okay, let's move on. The Qs. 315 was a major gamma level that we didn't quite get to. Okay, but the Qs are stronger. See, when we got down here, we pushed all the way up past this 217, and we went actually into yesterday's lows. That's the light blue. Okay, and then we sold off past VWAP, and now this candle right now is is breaking out is breaking this prior 15 minute candle okay the h pattern is a full in effect here okay and then the dow the dow had a very now you can see what's going to happen here this should this should really get pushed higher up at least the 3 this 15 minute ema 330 was a major negative gamma level. Again, gamma levels are fluid. So when you go through a negative gamma level, you get flushed. Dealers have to short, 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 short. If when they come back and you go over them, they have to buy back their shorts. So they assist up and down. Okay? So this key level now, also notice this. When we hit the weekly and monthly lows in the SPX, in the SPY, and then we're at this negative gamma level now in the Dow, I can see it's going back up now. I don't know how high, but that's what I can see. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. And of course, Baba. Of course, Baba. Of course you're going to do that to me. Um, so, uh, full transparency, I did take a long in Baba. Okay. And there was plenty of other longs that I wanted to take that I just didn't. And then there was news earlier. I was going to get long in Tesla. Let's just go to it so I can show you. Again, um, let's just show you here, right? So I'm actually going to, let's break this down into a five minute. Okay. So very important here. So, we can actually make this a little smaller so I can show you guys what I'm seeing. Okay, so this is a monthly and weekly flip gamma point for Tesla. Okay, you can see it holds every time. Okay, when we came down here earlier, I was looking long. And NASDAQ, that's when the NASDAQ started to push up. What also happened was Western Alliance said they're, they're not up for sale. It's false. It's a rumor. I had my order all set, and then the market just ripped higher. So, nothing you could do about that. Right? I was just like, well, Snow Elm was interested in pre-market. Baba was interested in Google. I actually had a trade on. So, I'm going to show you Google. And I wound up taking it off. So, in Google... I this this is another weekly gamma flip point here. Okay, I got short here. All right, this is 15 minute. Let me change this. So, I got short in here. 
and then I didn't like what I was seeing with the cues and I wanted up cutting it and then of course it, it went to my oh would have hit all my all my targets but that's trading right I just said you know what it was holding here it was holding here and I was like you know what I'm not you know these these levels are pretty powerful but then the market just took a turn right which is fine I'll show you that BA okay so I don't have to show you in a five minute you can see it right here so this is what I, what I was eyeing up on BA okay so the light blue member is yesterday's highs and lows so notice where um, let me let me big make this bigger 20 days oh, okay let me just show you guys here something so this is last week's uh, lows okay so when we go in here see how it just touched last week's lows and then what did it do this huge negative gamma level 200 was broke as soon as that broke dealers and market makers have to short hence the big fall I was eyeing this up and it did it just didn't set up just didn't set up notice this white line here okay that's why I love these lines on my charts because that was last month's lows so we broke last month's lows and last week's lows based on that news and the weakness in the market right okay let's see what else and this is coin so coin why was I looking at it right well notice these lows right you had lows here here and here and it's been holding it I said I've set an alert here to say okay let me see if we come above it we did we pushed up but I didn't really like it so I didn't I didn't try I didn't really like it okay and then snows the monster oh my god this is the monster so pre-market this is the monthly and weekly flip point right it was above this and it was holding it was actually holding here yesterday's highs right and I was like I had an alert set here and then it just rocketed right why did it rocket right well look at this it just took out all of these sellers that's why I was eyeing it up it just took out all of those sellers see so that was it just ripped now look the orange line right that's last week's highs and last week's lows so it took out last week's highs okay let's get in there let's see it a little closer right so all of this was sellers that just got squeezed right and so once we broke last week's highs came up to this gamma level okay found resistance came back it launched again right while the market was tanking so pretty interesting what else was I looking at let's go to Baba okay Baba too okay so pre-market this is the monthly flip in monthly gamma and weekly flip point here at 82 okay it's amazing how these stocks hold these levels okay so what I was looking at pre-market is Baba's been getting hammered right so let's look at these last three sessions and you'll see what I'm talking about all right so similar to snow look at this sell off and we just kind of been two days holding these lows well when I saw Baba see this right here these light blue lines when they let up right what was that holding yesterday's highs so and it's also the weekly flip point gamma point okay so what did I do I said okay I'm interested if it comes back here so it came back I stayed patient I didn't enter any trade yet and then I waited I waited for this these two candles to get taken out by this candle and then this line right here, right here was um, 
last week's, I believe it's, yeah, it was last week's um, high and monthly highs. I mean, last month's highs and last week's highs. So check this out. Right here. That's, I'm sorry. It was last week's lows. Last week's lows and last month's lows. So I apologize for that. It was, it was the lows of last week. So once it held that, once it held that, I entered in and I actually put my risk down here. And then I peeled one off here and then I got stopped. So basically like it was like a 90% return trade. Um, but the actually this was moving up while the market was moving down. It was actually very relatively uh, strong to the market. So just giving you my insights on what I've been seeing. Okay. Now if we go back over here, this is what's crazy, right? I just talked about that H pattern. Look what's happening. See this? Shorts are getting caught in the hole. So it's a NASDAQ. Let's look at the ES. ES, see? Getting too short here. Now, hopefully, everything I just showed you made sense. Hopefully, I wasn't too long winded. Uh, if you're new, please give me a thumbs up. Um, just real quickly, do an introduction. I could have did it earlier. But my name is Steven Gonzalez. Hopefully you enjoyed this midday recap and some of the trades that I was looking at. And unfortunately, not every trade you can put on and execute, right? It has to set up. So I have a bunch written down, like almost all of them worked, um, but it doesn't matter, right? So uh, the one that I did do worked. So, and um, yeah, so uh, that was a recap. So of course, if you're new, please subscribe. This is a little lengthier recap than I thought I would do, but I hope it was informative. And uh, I'll be doing these daily. So this one's a little long-winded. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm seeing. All right. Take it easy.